My name's Paul Noon. I'll be delivering a series of workshops in August in Melbourne, 2018, uh, where I'll be addressing the concept and the, the condition of central sensitization in uh, private manual therapy practice. I suppose before I answer why I'm doing this, or give you an introduction into why I'm doing this, a little bit of a background about my history dealing with this type of case. I graduated from uh, university back in 1979. I started university in 1979 and I completed in 1983. Uh, when I emerged out of practice, uh, it was very quickly be that I became confronted with uh, the, the, the chronic centrally sensitised patient and many of the comorbidities that present with that patient. Uh, this was this was terrifying to me. I'll be the first to admit and quickly I sought the advice of my principal and his, his great wisdom and experience uh, guided me through the, the management strategies um, of dealing with this type of patient. But really, I, I don't think I was actually satisfied with those explanations. I, I muddled my way through. Uh, coincidentally, I found myself uh, in a, enrolled in a traditional Chinese medicine course in 1989. Uh, and pain and the way pain is dealt with uh, within that that therapeutic framework was, was a fascinating experience and taught me a lot. Soon after that I enrolled myself in a PhD program at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom and I chose the topic of uh, chronic low back pain uh, and investigated that within a, a practice-based research network. More interestingly I, I chose to investigate it within the realm of health, health psychology and health behaviour and how we change people who are suffering pain and how we alter uh, their health behaviour direction and try to direct it towards a, a more successful healing process. Um, around the same time, or not too long after, I was enrolled in a clinical neuroscience program with Dr Ted Carrick. This gave me an opportunity to learn or relearn uh, the central nervous system in a, in a more modern way. Uh, at that time, information was coming out um, and emerging from uh, the neuroscience research literature suggesting that there were many reasons and many anatomical substrates that might be responsible for maintaining uh, chronic pain within the central system. Um, I returned back to Australia and commenced lecturing uh, and conducting a postgraduate course in clinical neuroscience and through that time being forced to actually review and teach uh, it became apparent how much more deficient I was in in managing the, the chronic pain especially the centralized the centrally sensitized chronic pain patient. Um, over a period of following years, I've now been involved in a in research projects, and one particular research project at the moment, we're actually looking at uh, the effect of central sensitization and, and chronic pain on postural instability or postural physiology. Through that, through a series of other events, I ended up uh, teaching with Dr. Russell Mottram on a temporomandibular joint dysfunction series of lectures he was giving, um, and he asked me to contribute a component on the chronic pain and the, the central areas of pain that might be maintaining um, those pain network loops in uh, TMD. From that, um, I decided uh, earlier this year that I might uh, conduct uh, my own series of workshops, um, just employing many of the lessons I've learned, a lot of the information I've learned, a lot of the clinical wisdom I've learned from patients, uh, from other practitioners, from my research, from my teaching, uh, from my own learning. Um, in and 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 uh, merge it and bind it into a uh, a series of two weekend workshops. These workshops are really aimed at helping you, the manual therapist, um, perhaps detect the fact that a patient sitting in front of you may indeed be experiencing central sensitization. There are a range of screening tools. There are a range of examination techniques and emphases. Uh, there are a range of uh, red flags in history um, that point you, the manual therapist, towards uh, addressing central sensitization whilst you're addressing the, the pain component of the patient. I have taken 35 years to get to this point and I hope to be able to share the information with you that might accelerate uh, your learning and understanding uh, in this area and, and ultimately improve what the good job you're doing already but hopefully uh, just add some more to it and this can become part of your learning experience.